again. Oh, I know that my Redeemer lives. He shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And after this body, the world shall destroy. Today is about life and about death. In spite of the beautiful pictures and the comforting music, we still feel the impact of the reality of death. Most Courtney was a young man whose life produced fruit. If you looked at his actions, 
He wasn't a man, a young man of many words. I talked to him a, a lot at the church. I'd ask him a lot of questions, how he was doing, how was school going, how was the basketball team going. I normally got one or two words out of him, sometimes a grunt, sometimes a nod. Wasn't many, wasn't a whole lot of words. But as we looked at Courtney and how he lived his life, his actions, they spoke everything. They were loud and they were clear. As Courtney's sisters and brothers, um, we would like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you to the Georgetown community. Um, we, Courtney was a very giving person, very giving. You didn't, you didn't have to ask. He just, you know, he just gave. I told him that Saturday, I said, Courtney, um, I'm sending you to store to get me a bottle of water. He said, oh, I got it. I said, well, I like that. <laughs> Uh, he opened doors. He was just a real gentleman. So we would like to call Coach Walker up here. We got together and we decided to get t-shirts. And at first it was just going to be us, but then it kind of went out of control. It gave me a big headache. So we, um, the funds, since Courtney was so giving, the funds that we got from the t-shirt sale, Dedicate to basketball team. Oh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Georgetown High basketball team, we say thank you. On behalf of the Georgetown High school administration and faculty and staff, we say thank you. And, and the Georgetown County School District. And we said thank you because that's how we remember, remember Courtney walking these hallways. Good afternoon. Um, on behalf of the Rose family, we would like to express our deepest condolences for the loss of our co-worker and friend. I would first like to say that although I never got to hang out with Courtney outside of work, I can tell you that he was very nice, helping and hard with the person. At the Romans, everyone thought Courtney was a very humble, polite, respectful person who never complained about everything and always gave 110%. He wasn't just a friend or a co-worker, but he was a hero. And he was a friend for that day. 